Welcome back to the FU Zebras. It is week 11 and we are going up against Toledo. The Zebras come in with a five game winning streak, including a 4 0 conference record. Toledo is 4 4, but they are 3 1 in conference, so this should be a great game. Before we begin, we have some new players to introduce to you. At the defensive tackle, we have number 74, Dominic Gubelli. He is 6'1", 312 pounds, and he is a sophomore. He's got the blonde hair with the blonde beard. He's a subscriber. Chuck Archery has us winning this game, even though Toledo has a better rating than us. We do score more points, so we'll see how it works out for us. Let's get started. So it looks like our overall rating actually dropped to 59 instead of 60. I don't know how that happened with the five-game win streak. Anyways, we're looking at Toledo with a 68 overall draw 59. Offense is 65 to 60. Defense is 73 to 60. I'm still going to be using a spread offense with a multiple D playbook. Guys we're going to have to look out for include wide receivers Johnson and Thompson and kicker Vest. Everyone is an 85 overall rating. We're playing at home again at the zoo. Our beautiful stadium looks like it's about halfway full. We're getting more people to our home games each and every week with this win streak going on. We won the coin toss, so we will be kicking off. Johnson back deep to return. He's going to find some room up the left side. Zebra's there to stop him to a modest gain. Simmons takes the ball, goes to the left side, but there's Zebra's there to stop him for only a five yard gain. Wilkerson looking back deep. Atkins is there. Oh, he misses him. Thompson is able to clean it up, though. Simmons with another run to the right side. Waller's there to stop him. Little read option. The Zebras are back there for a loss. Kid Caliber on the tackle. Fourth and three. We're going to hold him to a field goal on this first drive. No oh, Rocket Man's excited. Carpenter back deep for the Zebras. He's going to take it out. He's going to try to find some room up the left side and does. He's able to get to the 33 yard line. Greenwood looking to pass. He gets sacked. Scrambling. Greenwood looking deep again. Oh, and he gets sacked for the second time. That is not how we wanted to do a three and out. We actually lost 15 yards on that drive. Wilkerson looking deep. Atkins misses the sack, but Robinson's there to clean it up. Uh oh, they found the running back on the left flats. Oh, nice throw by Wilkerson to McKinley. All right, we're scrambling again. We got to get him, Zebras. Another throw to the flats. Third and one. We got to get a stop right here. There we go. Good job, Thompson. I was clutch. We're going to have to take a field goal. Oh wait, they're actually going for it? Okay. They're giving to the football Mitchell and he's able to go up the sideline for a touchdown? Are you kidding me? 28 yard run? All right, so we're already behind the eight ball. It's already 10 nothing. I feel like we do this every game where we get behind by 10 points. Carpenter's gonna take it out. Oh, he doesn't find much room. Getting stopped at the 15. Well, with a good curl route and catch. Greenwood looking. Oh, Moro stops running. Martinez with a nice catch on the curl route. Oh, Greenwood option. Great play. Look at all this open grass. Nice run of 18. 
We're moving the ball now, boys. Anderson Jr. Skiing on the carry for three. Green was going to take off with this. He's going to get the first down with his legs. Greenwood finds Martinez in the back of the end zone for six. That gets us on the board. It's a 10-7 ball game. Good job, Martinez. Way to come to play in the first quarter so far. Thompson back deep, bringing it out for the Rockets. Wilkinson looking to pass. He's going to scramble. Thompson lays the big hit, makes a fumble. McNair's able to pick it up. First turn of the game. That's exactly what we needed. Hopefully the Zebras can make some points out of this. At the end of the first quarter, it is Toledo 10, Forney University 7. Got a great game going on, guys. Greenwood surveying the field. Able to hit Martinez on a slant. We're going to keep this option read. Greenwood runs into a brick wall. Who way to get it out, Greenwood. Don't take the sack. Anderson Jr. can't hold on to it. Give the ball more with a little curl route. He's able to power his way into the end zone. That's going to put us up 14 10. Quick turnaround. He splits the uprights with the extra point. There you go, Moro. You earned it, baby. Sit on that bench. Get some high fives. Oh, Thompson's able to stiff arm a zebra. If you're in the negative in the turnover department, your chances of winning decrease exponentially. He's out of bounds. Sims running it to the left. Wilkinson throwing the ball again. We got Franz right there. Oh, he's not able to make the play. Carpenter's gonna have to save him. Uh-oh, another read option. Wilkinson's off and running. Oh, he's got a lead block from his wide receiver, and he's off. What about is not going to be able to tackle him? Waller can't tackle him either. It's a huge run for the quarterback. And they are now up 17-14. to Zebra's lead did not last very long. Carbon's going to return it. Let's see if we can get something on this right side. One or two plays. Greenwood's going to keep it. See some green grass. There you go. Get yourself eight yards. Surveying the field. We're able to hit Anderson on a little out route on the left side. Gain a 10. Greenwood running it again. Uh oh. They're all over him on the option. Martinez gets licked after making a 14-yard reception. Anderson Jr. again with the catch. That's good for five yards. We are spreading the ball out now. Martinez with another catch. Uh-oh. Looks like Martinez is hurt. Scheme going to go up the middle. Running game, passing game. It's all working for us. At this point, we're kind of doing whatever we want. Fuqua with a nice grab. Put us on the one yard line. Skeen's not able to get in on first down. That's okay. We're going to go for it again. He's able to punch it in for his first touchdown of the game. 
That's going to put the Zebras back on top, 21-17. to 17. Looks like this might be a high-scoring game. Skeen's pumped up. He's excited. Johnson back deep. Going to return this for him. He's got plenty of room to run. Wilkinson trying to run. Atkins is there to make the sack, though. That's our third sack of the game. He's going to scramble again. I guess our secondary is just that good. Or he just likes to scramble. He is taking it again. Three scrambles in a row, and he's just chopping up yards. Short pass to Thompson. We got that covered, though. Don't be right. third and nine. Got to get a stop here. Oh, and Phillips is able to make the shoestring grab. His quarterback is throwing dimes right now. Luckily, that was out of bounds. Wilkinson looking to pass. He's going to bring it down to scramble. Atkins is there. Oh, he's not able to make the sack. Sutherland's able to clean it up for our fourth sack of the game. Now a catch by Cooper. Johnson getting a catch. I think we were able to stop him. They got him on the one yard line. Second and goal. This guy just keeps scrambling. He gets in for a touchdown. Jeez, Ebers, come on. We got to put a quarterback spy on him or something. So Toledo has the lead again, 24-21. Carpenter back deep. We're going to bring this one out. Ooh, Carpenter takes a huge hit. Doesn't even get to the 20. Greenwood. Looks like we're going to run this one. Got plenty of green grass in front of him. He's able to step out of bounds for an 11-yard gain. Oh, Greenwood throws a pick on the run. That was horrible. That was my mistake. I shouldn't have thrown that ball. Should have just taken the and went into halftime. Brooks is going to scramble again. Thompson's there. Oh, but he misses. I think he's going to score. No, he's not. He's going to slide. He's going to get down to the one-yard line. They're going to kick a field goal. We actually got super lucky there. They could have got a touchdown. All right, guys. At halftime, Toledo's winning against Forney University 27-21. We got to definitely clean some stuff up. I got to play better and do better at picking plays. Carpenter's found some room up the right side. Get to the 30, 35, and we're stopped. There we go. Greenwood's going to take it on the read option. It's going to be second and inches. Looking, looking. He's going to take it and run. First down, Zebras. Oh, Greenwood was going to scheme, but a bad pass. Anderson Jr. on the catch. Greenwood's going to take it, but there's no one there. They got this option play gobbled up. He's going to get dropped in the backfield for a loss. Anderson Jr. was wide open. There had to have been a breakdown in coverage because no one was around him for 15 yards. We are back on top after this extra point. We are now leading 28-27. Johnson's going to bring it back out again. Oh, we're able to stop him at the 30. Wilkinson looking. 
We have to just throw it low to Fisher. Oh, we're gonna get Sims at the right side. He makes it to the three. Third and five, we need to stop. They're actually gonna run the ball. Franz has got this sniffed out. He actually tackles Sims for a four yard loss. That's gonna be fourth. Let's get the ball back. Cantrell is back deep to return. Cantrell's back deep to return this punt. He's not getting anywhere, man. Gaining two yards on the return. Skeen's able to break off a tackle, but he's not able to get much more than four yards. This curl route, we've been killing it all day. Cantrell can't hold on to the ball. Oh, that was a bad read by me. I brought up four down. We're going to have to punt it. This guy just keeps breaking tackles. Sam is going to get a nice little run here. Oh. Zebras, we're all missing tackles. Blow's the only one who can stop him. Look at him, he's practicing the stiff arm. He's still not down. McNair's able to bring him down. What a run by that guy. 54 yards? Jeez. Uh-oh, option play. Wilkerson's going to go into the end zone untouched. That was quick. That was a two-play drive right there. That's going to give Toledo the lead again. They're actually going for two. Wilkerson scrambling again. He's going to make it the two-point conversion. They're actually going to go up on us 35 to 28. Another news, another upset. Mississippi State defeats Texas A&M 28 to 25. Carpenter back deep. We're going to bring this one out, try to go up the left side. Not much working over there. I'm going to do a little power running. Uh-oh, Skeen's able to find a hole. He breaks loose. He's going down the sideline. It's a nice little stiff arm. Ah, oh, they're still able to bring him down. If he had at least 90 speed, he probably would have broke that one for a touchdown. We're going to give the ball Skeen again. He's going to get about 15 yards. Pollard's going to come in for Skeen, give him a little break. Gonna try passing it on this one. Oh, it's deflected. They figured out this curl route we like to run. Try smash route. We're not able to hit the corner route with Anderson. We're gonna settle for a field goal. Oh, it's long enough. I would have really liked to have had a touchdown on that last drive. We started the drive off so well with two runs. Had to finish off with a field goal though. Once again, not able to make a tackle on the first play. We're having to gain tackle. Little play action pass. No one's open, so the quarterback's going to run. Oh, Thompson there. Play action pass. No one's open. He's going to scramble again. Be able to pick up the first down easily. We gotta find some way to stop this quarterback from scrambling all day. Oh, pick by Sutherland. He's got plenty of room. If he's fast enough, he can get a pick six. Nice stiff arm. Oh, but once again, he's not able to break loose. That puts the zebras in great position. Hopefully, we can get a touchdown here. Skeen on the carry up the right side. He's able to find a room. He's able to score. That puts us on the lead. Skeen having a great day so far. Able to run the ball pretty well against this Toledo defense. That's going to get us up 38 to 35. Crowd's getting into it. Look at the frat boys wearing the FU number one. Thompson back deep, coming in. Right up the middle, no one is there to make the tackle until he gets almost to the 30. 
Atkins is able to come up with another sack. That is our fifth sack of the day. We're going to go into the fourth quarter. Toledo is losing to us 35-38. Four quarter zeros. We got to hold him here. Put this game away. The quarterback, he doesn't know where to go now that we got a spy on him. That's going to bring up four down. Control back deep. Got plenty of room to run. He's going to take it up the right sideline. Good gain of 15 yards on the return. We're going to keep running this ball. We had great success the last two drives. Ah, Skeen's not able to break loose, though. Second and seven. Greenwood's going to be able to get the first down, though, on an option read. Able to bounce a tackle, actually. Gain of 15. Skeen finds room up the middle. Can't make a guy miss, but it's still a 14-yard gain. Uh-oh, busted play. What are we doing? Let's just go ahead and try to pick up the first down with Greenwood. He's able to do it with a 12-yard run. Looking, looking. Ooh, Greenwood took a hit. Ooh, Skeen took a hit. Jeez, back-to-back -back knockouts. I'm going to get more on this small curl route. That gets us in good field goal range. Let's hit this chip shot. Just under three to go in regulation. With this, that's going to put us up 41 to 35. It's a six-point game. Only 2.53 remaining. we got to get a couple stops on defense. It's fielded at the two. Wilkerson, oh, they're going to get a screen pass, but Robinson's there. He sniffed it out. Actually, a one-yard loss. Toledo's running another screen pass. Once again, the Zebras are there to make the tackle. Third and nine. Wilkerson surveying the field. He's able to find McKinley Lewis, but they're not going to get the first down. It's going to bring up fourth and two. I'm pretty sure they're going to have to go for it down by six, but they chose to punt. We'll take that. Cantrell making a dangerous catch. Gonna give it to Skeen. He's got plenty of room to run up the middle for a 12 yard gain. Just keep chewing up that clock. Skeen is running like a madman. 11 yards. All right, second and nine. Clock is still rolling. Oh, he's able to find room on the left side. Skeen has got a nice gain. Man, 28-yard run by Skeen. Makes it to the top. This running attack is going to be able to put the game away. That's it. Toledo's got no more timeouts. Sorry, Rocky. You boys lost. You come into the zoo, that's what happens. We've been running the ball so much, let's do a nice little play action. Try to find our fullback. Oh, outlaw. Not able to come down with the grab. That would have been perfect. That's all right, though. The Zebras win anyways. Great game, guys. Another victory. Another fourth quarter comeback. Player of the game is Mitchell Skeeney. He had 19 carries for 169 yards and two touchdowns. We really needed him, and he came ready to play. That's another win for us, guys. That's going to bring us to a six-game win streak, and now we are bowl eligible. We defeated Toledo 41-35. to Let's look at the stats, guys. Greenwood on passing, he was 15 of 25 for 188 yards. He did have three touchdowns, which is a career high. Uh, and he had one interception. He had a 60% completion rating, which was pretty good. He did get sacked four times, though. Rushing attack was led by Skeen. He had 19 attempts for 169 yards, which brought his average to 8.8. He did have two touchdowns, and he had a 38-yard long. He was able to break one tackle. Greenwood was 16 for 56 yards. He had an 18 long. No fumbles, which is great. That was crucial in today's victory. No one got hurt either. As far as receiving goes, we spread the ball around. Mario Anderson Jr. had a big game today. Five receptions, 90 yard and a touchdown. No bigger than that 42 yard one. Brandon Martinez also came to play. He had five receptions, 54 yards and a touchdown as well. Moro was able to get the last touchdown. He only had two catches for 17 yards. On the defensive side of the ball, there was a lot of guys flying around. Sutherland had seven tackles. He had one for a loss, a sack, and an interception. Busy day today for him. Thompson had five tackles, one tackle for loss. 
Franz had four tackles, one tackle for loss. McNair had four tackles. He actually got a sack. Uh, Robinson also got a sack with his two tackles, and Adkins got a sack with his tackle. Overall, the defense played very well going into the second half, and we were able to hold Toledo to get the victory today. Next week, guys, we play Eastern Michigan. They have a conference record of 2-3 and three with an overall record of 3-6. and six. Kirk Street likes us to win this game. We are bowl eligible, and hopefully we'll continue our win streak, bringing it to 7. Thank you for watching. I'm Coach. You're watching Coach Plays Games. Please hit that like and subscribe, and I'll see you on my next video.